came out of Georgia and I went to the, the Marine Corps. And, and I came out of the Marine Corps and I went to the university because I had a GI Bill. And, it, and just going to the university was a place to stop and write for four years and the government would support me. It's the only reason I went. At some point, I, you know, I started writing novels. Wrote a bunch of novels before it published any, you understand. And stories, a bunch of stories, filled this house full before it published any. And one of the reasons, there were others, but one of the big reasons, man, is I was actually writing novels about people who lived in suburbia. I mean, here was a family. I was writing about that family. And the father in that family got up and went to an office and worked. And they had food on the table. And they mowed the grass. And the children got sick and they could take them to a doctor. And I did all that because I was somehow intimidated by, perhaps ashamed of, that's not too, too strong a word, ashamed. I was taught to be ashamed. Uh, of being from Bacon County, Georgia. And one night, very strung on coffee, cigarettes, and whatever else I could put in my mouth, uh, I had what I take to be a moment of grace. I really do call it that and think of it as that. Wherein I was privileged to see what it was I was doing. Now, I can't explain this moment. I just saw that I was writing about all these things I didn't know anything about. And I said to myself, man, Whatever you got going for is all back there in Bacon County. Uh, all the ugliness, the sickness, the beauty, the lyrical look of landscapes when the light is a certain way, whatever it is, it's all back there. And you got to go there in your head and your heart and right out of that. And I did, and it, things changed for me. No matter how bad it gets out here, or how twisted or how warped or what else it gets out of here. I can look over my shoulder, figuratively speaking. I don't have to do that. I can see it on the backs of my eyelids. And I'm in Bacon County, Georgia, with those values and those people, and, uh, and I'm all right. The country and the world, for that matter, is getting more and more, so nobody stays in the same place. Uh, I find it sad, for instance, maybe nobody else does, I don't care about that. I find it sad that <clears throat> uh, the so-called southern accent is disappearing. Because, and one of the reasons it's disappearing because we old people don't live with, with, the, with the family. We, we warehouse them somewhere in an old folks' home or something else. In Bacon County, Georgia, Today and when I was a child, the old folks live at home till they die. Uh, my grandmother lived with us. She had a stroke, and she could get, and, and she, but she could get around, you know, one hand on a sling and dragging one foot and her 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 spit cup in one hand, dipping snuff, and she was always there. Children today, and I learned much of what I know, and certainly the way I speak. Some of it, that may have gone over the years, having been in, around people in universities, God help me. Maybe some of it's gone, but I learned it from her. Children today don't learn how to speak and what is right to speak about. They don't learn that at their grandfather or grandmother's knee. Ideas are writer's cheapest commodity. Uh, it's a hundred thousand words that you need to flesh it out. The ideas, I think, come from, or ought to come from, places like Bacon County. They ought to come from what I, what I talk of, speak of, as my blood. That's all of my, as we say in the South, my connections. It just means my kin people, as you know. My connections. And that's where my stories come from. If I am thinking about writing something, I am without meaning to or without trying to or anything, I'm thinking about the struggles I've been close to. And that's what we're talking about in this, we're talking about particular parts of life, this case, Bacon County, Georgia, is it's all of a piece. 
if you break a tiniest chunk of it off, parts of all the rest of it will be contained in this little teeny chunk here. Little teeny chunk will have smokehouse smoke in it. And it'll have making lye soap in it. Or, or somebody that knows how to do it and could tell you and talk to you and you'd find it entertaining and wonderful if people actually made their soap. Yeah, we made our soap. Or it has... It has in it the fact that as brutal as our landscape may appear to all the other pe or people, as brutal as our landscape may appear to them, it's our landscape and it doesn't appear brutal to us. It appears lovely. It appears a marvelous, marvelous sort of thing. And, uh, and that's why we, with such, you could say, stubbornness, I suppose, hard-headedness, whatever, try to remain who we are. 